Uganda suffered and continues to suffer instances of political violence, but many of them are partisan in nature and divide the people. But all Ugandans tend to be united when the violence visited upon the victims is by terrorists. New Vision TV looks at the most horrendous acts of terrorism against Ugandans. Joseph Kony's Lord's Resistance Army and its precursor, the Holy Spirit Movement, had been operating for a decade in 1996, with its insurgency almost entirely restricted to a Choli subregion. Then, in all irony, they picked Independence Day, 9th October 1996, to do something that struck terror in the hearts of all Ugandans. Around supper time, they attacked a girl's boarding school in Lango's Oyam district, a Boke high school. They swiftly captured 139 teenager girls and took them into captivity. The ordeal was to last over a decade before the last victim not killed could be rescued. The Aboke girls brought the LRA insurgency to the hearts of all other Ugandans who had earlier seen it as an Acholi affair. Aboke is outside Acholi, and the girls were from different parts of the country up to the west of Uganda. There, 1998 was the worst in terms of terror attacks on Uganda. On June 8, 1998, the Allied Democratic Forces ADF, allied to Al-Qaeda, shocked Ugandans and the world when they burnt 100 teenagers alive in their dormitories at Kichwamba Technical Institute in Western Uganda. Jamil Mukulu's ADF also captured many youth for forceful conscription into terrorism. Kichwamba students were from all parts of the country, and the shocking terror attack hit the whole population hard. On July 12, 1998, during the World Cup final between France and Brazil, at halftime break, bombs went off in different pubs in Kampala City, where people were watching the match. The worst were on Kampala Road and in Makinde, where several people died. On August 7, 1998, the Al-Qaeda allies hit the U.S. embassies of Nairobi and Dar al Salaam. But due to the heightened alertness in Kampala following the previous bombings, they did not manage to detonate the explosives that were meant to blow up the city center. But they managed to kill 30 Ugandans using bombs they planted in buses heading to different directions from Baganda Bus Park in Kampala. One was approaching Kasese, the other was heading to Kigali, and the third was going to Gulu. 1998 was thus a year of widespread terror attacks on Uganda. Twelve years after the 1998 World Cup final terror attack in Kampala, the Al-Shabaab hit Kampala with much more devastating blasts. Fans were watching the 2010 World Cup final at Lugogo Rugby Grounds and another at the Egyptian restaurant in Kavalagala were blown up by suicide bombers. Over 70 people died. Several years later, over a dozen bombers were convicted for the murders and sentenced to 50 years in prison. In our next episode of Independent Uganda's Unifying Events, we look at the assassination of senior police officers.